Kim. Smile. going to lay, uh, they would have laid their egg probably and off flying around or over and getting a drink or something. So this time you, you're seeing a lot of flight activity, it leads you to think that there's not quite so much uh, actual laying that's going on. Pairs, double, double pairs. Right, right. I hope I'm wrong. But in a, as far as the egg salvage is concerned, in, if it could leave this, for 30 days even, uh, maybe not quite that long. There'd be nests out there every 10 feet. And a lot of them incubating already so they'd be full nests. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. 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 Turn her all up. You know. Yeah. I was coming from... You can see all the pods on these. They look like they made a lot of seed. Again, the purple. See the nice purple flowers, purple veg. Plant takes nitrogen from the air. And you look around the air and you say, I don't see fertilizer in the air. But in the air, there's oxygen and nitrogen and there's carbon dioxide in the air. And the plant, these plants are special plants. They're able to take nitrogen from the air and put them into the roots for other plants to use later. And that's one of the reasons we plant legumes like vetch in a rice field is so that it will provide fertilizer for the rice. There's the, there's the two classes going through the field. They've got uh, quads towing a line with cans on it. They're rattling like hell, carrying everything within 100 miles. And I haven't seen a, a hen up yet. The hen just got up. And there goes another one. This is a pheasant nest we flushed. Almost ran over with the quad runner. I think the quad runner just straddled the nest. She flushed after we went over here. Perfect dozen of pheasant eggs. It's the second one we flushed in this field. Here's the lineup. This is Doug Coldmer at the other end. He showed up. Daryl's running inside. I'm out here spotting, trying to find these birds jumping. Jumping kind of wild. Not sitting too tight. We'll see what we can find somewhere. They found about, well, oh, maybe eight or ten nests already, uh, putting a pheasant nest. Here they're in uh, chopping this vet field we just went through. We got a few nests out of it. Really too early in the nesting uh, season chronology to get a lot of eggs. It's actually a good thing for the ducks. Now they have to move off and uh, they're going to nest in some other places that are going to have a little higher, higher nest success. Getting a lot of nests with you know, one, two, three eggs. So they're just laying, uh, just starting their laying, but not sitting on the nest. So I'm sure there's a lot of nests that we uh, never saw because the hens were no longer sitting there. They only come in for about you know, a couple hours in the morning to lay. They're not incubating until they lay a full clutch of eggs. So these eggs that we picked up were cold, and, uh, and they're not incubating uh, for, for another, I don't know, seven to ten days until they get a full clutch. So they'll find someplace else, but this is what happens to the fields. It's May 3rd. Uh, and they'll get disc under, plot under, and this will be planted to rice this year.